Hey guys, welcome to Monoview. Today we're going to be doing a mini episode on cables. So we use Cat 5E cables here, or you can use Cat 6 or Cat 7. Basically, standard Ethernet cables can work just fine. How it works is a single cable for one camera, and that is going to power the camera as well as provide the information transfer all in one. The maximum distance you can go on a single run is going to be 300 feet. At that point, you would need to add what's called a PoE switch, which needs to plug into a wall outlet, but this will enable you to go another 300 feet. With our systems, when you purchase a camera, whether it's in a package or individually, we will send you a 100 foot span of Cat5e cable. Question we get asked a lot um, on the camera side of the cables are, what are all these extra inputs and outputs? So. Of course, these cameras are PoE, so 100% of their functions will operate just off the PoE. Whether it's a big PTZ camera or just a little 4104, it uh, doesn't matter, it's, it's all gonna work just fine off the PoE. However, we do include these extras for just a select group of customers that may need to use them. So, um, you're gonna have your audio out and your audio in cables. These are for intercoms or extra speakers. Uh, keep in mind that those devices will need to be powered on their own. Um, then we've got our 12 volt adapter. This is for giving a little bit of extra extra power to the camera. Maybe you're really far away from the NVR or for whatever reason your NVR's uh, power supply is a little low. Um, typically we see this if somebody's got like 12 PTZ cameras plugged into theirs. Um, there's only so much power to go around. So that is when you would use one of these. Um, then next we've got our little cables, and these are to attach to just an alarm system panel. Uh, pretty rarely used, but they are there for the, you know, off chance that you have that ability. All right, last thing I wanna talk about is installation for the cables. Our tech services definitely recommend testing your cables and of course your cameras before installing them. It is very, very rare for one of our cables to be bad on arrival, but it is possible. And so we wanna just make sure that we clear any any inconsistencies out of the way. Um, <clears throat> also, another big tip would be to label your cameras and your cables. Uh, it's very often that people get them confused, especially if you've got a 32 channel system and you know, and you, maybe you've got multiple employees or housemates. Um, it just keeps everything way more organized. Label your cable. Okay, so when installing, you'll notice that the cables that come with our cameras have these nice little weather resistant sleeves. Uh, so they're basically just gonna go over and attach to the female end. And then the sleeve just goes over that and there's an attachment right there. Boom. So keep in mind, it's weather resistant, not weatherproof. So there are a couple things that you can do to add to that. One is you can use dielectric grease. This will just go directly onto the female connectors and about a pea-sized amount. And then again, once you put it on in there, just go ahead and connect them and then seal them in. That is going to protect from any excess moisture getting onto the actual pins. Now, what happens if there does get moisture on the pins is not good. You end up with this guy. You get corroded, burnt, dirty, and it basically completely kills the camera. So definitely don't want that. Another big portion of this is because our cables are not covered under warranty, it's absolutely paramount that you do your best to give all the weather protection you can to them. Typically a professional installer when they're putting in the camera is gonna go directly into the wall behind the camera and the wall is gonna provide all of the weather protection it needs. Every once in a while though, you can't do that and you've gotta run along the side, maybe through conduit. That is where this next step will come in handy. So for the sleeve, <clears throat> we've got our dielectric grease, we've got our sleeve over that. The last thing you can do is do electrical tape and just basically completely seal in that sleeve. Um, it's just going to guarantee that no extra moisture is gonna get in there and this will last years and years this way. If you decide to do your own cable, all of our cameras will come with the sleeve. So basically you've got four components. The long end, First takes the O-ring onto the spiky part and then over the threads. Next, you're gonna take your cable before you plug it in your camera and put the small end in first with the curvy narrow side pointing down. Then you're gonna take the longer end, 
pointy side first and put that over here like that. And before you seal these in, you're gonna take your final piece, your rubber gasket, which opens up a crease here, and you're gonna put the narrow side towards the camera. And you'll notice that these little uh, grooves here match up with the rubber grooves, and so it locks into place just like so. Then finally, you can twist on that small end and that locks that into place. And then go ahead and of course, plug in your camera. Make sure you listen for that click. Then finally, of course, you just put over the sleeve and then uh, optional electrical tape. But we can highly recommend that. All right, that is going to wrap it up for all my cable information here today at Monoview. If you guys have any questions, call our customer service line. We're happy to answer anything you've got for us. Uh, so thanks for coming by and have a good day.